charming, picturesque. It's kind of like a secret. People come into town and go, wow, I didn't really know about this, and, and look at it. There's a lot to look at in Marblehead, with its rocky coast and stately mansions just 17 miles north of Boston. It's a storybook seaside town filled with patriotic spirit and character. If you want to walk down a street that uh, British soldiers walked down, and you want to look at houses that you know were at one time under British rule, then you might want to come to Marblehead. Founded as a fishing village, life in Marblehead still centers around the deep blue sea. With six yacht clubs, one just for children, locals claim Marblehead is the yachting capital of America. Hold on, folks. Captain Shane is in charge. <laughs> During the summer, 2,000 boats fill up this harbor. Sailing in Marblehead is big business, says Alan Leibovitz. I'm hoping for a busy season. You know, I'd like to be out here every day of the week. My wife jokes I leave for work in the morning with a smile. <laughs> She's jealous. And no wonder. On this glorious day, Alan's workplace is here with his company, Atlantic Charters. My charters I do on this boat, the Resolute, uh, which is a 31-foot friendship sloop built in 1976. Alan also gives sailing lessons. I teach people one-on-one. -on -one or I'll teach him in a group format on a 23-foot uh, Pearson. Before heading in, Alan gives me a quick lesson at the wheel. It's just like driving a car. I kind of feel like I'm at home, Alan. Do I do. Oh, good. I'm I glad. do. Maybe in a former life. There you go. I was captain of a ship. Steeped in history, a visit to Marblehead is like stepping back in time. The town has over 200 homes and buildings that predate the Revolutionary War. Well, I've said to people, have you ever been to Williamsburg? And they go, oh, yes. I said, well, this is the real thing. You know, we didn't build a bunch of old buildings to make it, you know, look old. You know, this is just the way it's always been. In Marblehead's historic Old Town District, you can spend the night in one of these historic homes by checking in to the Harbor Light Inn. From the dining room, you can look through glass that's a couple hundred years old with all the little imperfections in the glass and look up Pearl Street and see a scene that hasn't changed in over 200 years. Same houses, same street. The only difference is there's some telephone wires. Named one of the top 10 romantic inns in America by the New York Times Magazine, this cozy spot contains 22 rooms, a bar, and dining room. Owner Peter Conway tells us he also has an impressive guest list. Without question, my favorite guest of all times was Walter Cronkite. He stayed with us many times, and he was just the nicest person. Um, I, I was fortunate enough to uh, go out a couple of evenings with him and uh, try to get him to tell me more than I was telling him. So in the breakfast room in the morning, you don't know who you're going to meet. Visitors can also take a peek inside the famed Jeremiah Lee Mansion. It's a colonial mansion. It was built in 1768. So when this house was built, Marblehead and all of America was an English colony. And Jeremiah Lee was the wealthiest man um, in Marblehead. And he made his fortune selling salted fish. And this is a tribute to how successful both Jeremiah Lee and the town of Marblehead was before the American Revolution. The 18-room mansion has changed little since Jeremiah lived here with his wife and six children. It's hand-painted wallpaper. It's still in place. It's the only house in the world that still has 18th century English hand-painted wallpaper on the walls. There's mahogany wood that Lee brought to Marblehead in his ships, uh, and that the original carving, all done by American colonial carvers. So beautifully done, beautiful handwork. How has Marblehead been able to preserve so much of its architectural history when so many other towns have not? After the American Revolution, the fishing fleet was devastated. The town was very, very poor. So people weren't tearing down houses. And so by the time that prosperity came back again, um, people found that the, all these old houses were charming. And so it had sort of lived through the period of time when they would have been most likely to be torn down. With so much to see, Marblehead is a very walkable town with a wide variety of shops and boutiques to poke into, like she. 
Owner Tiffany Gaddis says despite the name, she has a little something for everybody. Gifty items, jewelry, little knick-knacky things. So if you're in here and don't feel like trying on clothes, you might be able to find a gift for somebody or a little knick-knack that reminds you of your trip to Marblehead. 